Welcome back, everyone. So I wanted to talk about something I haven't really brought up in a while, and that is the concept of vibration, frequency. Uh, we hear people say, you know, raise your vibration, or I got a vibe from that person. And I just kind of felt like bringing this up again and kind of giving a little refresher course on what that all means in case maybe you didn't see my previous videos on the topic or if you've been wondering about this kind of idea. So we've all heard of the law of attraction, right? Well, I feel that the law of attraction is one piece of a greater picture that has been sort of cut out of something a little bigger and made into a new age sensation. So there is some truth to the idea that you uh, attract things into your life based on your vibration. But the misconception here is that it's just going to bring you everything you've ever wanted just because you sit there and picture it in your head. Now, you can actually attract your desires. But it's really the key here is getting rid of what is preventing you from manifesting that already because you're always putting out a core vibration and that core vibration tends to kind of get muddled up based on some of the unconscious programs and emotional patterns that we carry around. So really the key here is that presence, being fully present, is actually your nat that's you being in your natural vibration and that's what attracts things to you that are meant to be in your life like your soulmate you know when you vibrate at the level of your soul your your soulmate is going to be attracted to that vibration so if you want to attract a soulmate then all you need to do is find the vibration of your soul and embody that as much as possible well that sounds simple and it is simple but it's not necessarily that easy uh, because like I said, there's all these programs and emotional and, and mental patterns that we ha carry around in the subconscious that get in the way and, and muddle up that vibration so that we're not really uh, vibrating at that frequency most of the time. And so what practicing gratitude does is it actually lights up your subconscious brain. You create this energy that causes the things that are in your subconscious to become manifest in your immediate environment, in your life, so that you can process those things and remove the blockages. So what you often experience when you start to raise your vibration is that you is that things kind of get worse before they get better. But once they get better, they, they get much better than they ever were before. And that's why a lot of people give up on the sort of law of attraction kind of things because, oh, well, I focused on this, this thing that I want and did everything that they told me to in the videos, but it still didn't show up. In fact, things kind of got worse. Well, that means that you're actually doing the right stuff. It just means that you haven't, you didn't follow through if you gave up on it. Um, so for instance, if you struggle with relationships, because that's a huge thing, especially in the tarot community, it's all about relationships and soulmates and all this kind of stuff. So I figured I would throw my, my two cents in there to kind of give my perspective on it. Um, say you continually attract the same kind of person over and over and over again no matter what relationship you get in it always turns out to be kind of the same it's like a it's like the same person in a different body every time well that's because there's an unconscious program there's an unconscious pattern that is causing you to constantly manifest that same thing over and over again and so if you start doing things like practicing gratitude what you might encounter is that you might start to attract a certain person again um, and it will be, it may be an echo of that same pattern. You know, the same thing shows up again. And because you might run in, you might find that that is the case, that you tried to manifest something better, but you got the same thing again. Well, really that manifestation of that, that same circumstance again is your opportunity to examine the situation, examine the pattern and try to understand what part of you is causing this to happen? What is it that you believe? What emotional patterns, what beliefs about yourself are you carrying that is causing this pattern to keep continually emerge? And so when you practice gratitude, you actually, you give rise to all those things. You, you, you manifest the physical manifestation of the blockages that you're carrying so that you can process them and move beyond them. And sometimes people get upset about this and they're like, oh, you mean I have to actually do work? I, I can't just sit here and, and think about what I want and have everything I've ever wanted? No, unfortunately, that's not how it works, at least not from the way that you're, you're thinking of it uh, now. Once you do actually clear out all of these patterns and you get to that place where you are 
consistently present, truly present, not just thinking about being present, but actually embodying that true core vibration of yourself, uh, when you get there, then yeah, that's when your creative power really kind of goes through the roof. And you start being able to really manifest things just by thinking about them and putting a lot of focus into creating those astral forms. Because that's what you're doing when you visualize what you want, what you're actually doing. Uh, on one level, you are altering the vibration you're putting out. But when you when you try to manifest a particular thing, you're creating an astral form. And that astral form attracts that situation like a magnet. But if you're putting out an unconscious vibration that is counter to that result that you're trying to manifest, you're just going to manifest that thing and then it's going to get pushed away very quickly because there will be an unconscious pattern that says, I can't have that. And very often, what this really boils down to, the root of all these patterns, usually comes down to how we view ourselves and the quality of your self-worth, you know, how you view yourself. Um, you know, look at the word, like if you have money problems, they call it, they say that that means you're poor. Well, what does that word mean, poor? It's low quality. So if you have a belief, that's an indication that you might be carrying a belief that you are of a poor quality person. You have a low sense of self-worth. You, you get down on yourself, you beat yourself up, you have all these negative beliefs about yourself. And that becomes manifest in your reality as, as being, as having the experience of being materially poor. Whereas if you actually get down into that belief system and you root out all those things that are causing you to believe the, that you have, you know, this, these, these negative things about yourself, all of a sudden the quality of your life starts to improve. And so by, by mastering your vibration, which is the name of the video course that I put out about six months ago or so, and maybe a little more than that now, um, I call it the mastering your vibration course. Uh, it's a, and it kind of takes you through a series of exercises that helps you to go through this process and start taking uh, your own evolution into your own hands and clearing out all those unconscious blockages and patterns um, that are preventing you from automatically getting what you really, what you truly want. Um, so if you're interested in uh, participating in a video course that will actually kind of explain these things in a different way, um, give you some meditations and tools to kind of work with in order to start working on that spiritual level um, and start manifesting and, and understanding your role in, in how to work with energy, what that really means, the different types of energy you can work with, all this kind of stuff. Uh, I go through a lot of that in my video course. I also talk about how to connect with your spirit guides. Um, there's also a section that teaches you a little bit about an introduction to the Kabbalistic Tree of Life. Um, it's a five video course. Each one is roughly about 30 minutes long, although the, the one about your spirit guides is only about 15 minutes because that's actually a very simple video. It's actually not that hard to do. Um, and then the final one's about an hour long, and that's the introduction to the Tree of Life. And I kind of wanted to just kind of bring this up again because I, frankly, I kind of forgot that I even made it until somewhat recently when somebody started talking about it again. Uh, everybody who's bought the course so far has had extremely positive feedback on it. Um, I haven't heard anything. I haven't had a single complaint about it uh, from anybody that's purchased the program. <clears throat> and I do, I can speak from experience that it works. It's just that it's, this law of attraction vibration stuff doesn't work the way that a lot of people try to convince you. Because if, if they told you that what you're really doing by working with the law of attraction is creating a circumstance where you get to face yourself in a way that becomes, you know, it's like you, like I said before, you manifest physically in your environment, the quality, the blockages that you carry in yourself and the way that you treat and react to those circumstances dictates how, whether or not you're able to process that blockage and move through it. Or if you suppress it again and just cram it back down into your subconscious and start and continue repeating that same pattern. So what you're really doing is you're catalyzing a journey. You don't just sit there and manifest a new car because you think about the new car unless you have a, a lack of blockages that might be saying that you can't do that. <laughs> um, and this applies to all aspects of life, you know. And there's a couple different ways that we can kind of frame this and look at it. You could even think of it as thought forms. Uh, what you do when you practice gratitude and visualization and all that stuff that, you know, you raise your vibration, you're 
you're right, you're putting a lot of energy into what you're already carrying in your mind. And so you're going to feed the thought forms that are there. And the negative ones that feed off of your negative vibrations are going to show themselves. They're going to create circumstances that try to get you to get, give them a negative reaction so that they can continue feeding off of your negative energy. And the way to process that is to stay present and continue practicing that gratitude in the face of difficulty so that you starve those negative thought forms and feed the positive ones. Eventually, the negative thought forms, aka blockages, disappear and suddenly you just start feeling better and you start noticing that you automatically attract your desires without having to sit there and try to focus and visualize on it all the time. And if you want to take things farther, then you can use those visualization practices and start getting into what is traditionally known as magic and start using physical objects in your environment and certain words and key vibrations um, that can actually help you to harness your ability to manifest just more specifically, you know, to take on that kind of co-creator perspective. Um, so anyways, if you're interested in the video course, let me know, send me an email. I'll put the information down in the description below. Um, you know, if you have trouble affording the cost that is listed down there, just you know, send me an email. We might be able to work something out like a payment plan or something. Uh, I can send you an invoice or maybe, you know, I'm, I, I'm willing to work with people. You know, I can't just, the, the, the only reason I don't just put this stuff out for free is because I have definitely found that if a person doesn't make an investment in something like this, they don't do it. They don't put the work in. They don't value it as much. And so then it doesn't actually do anyone any good. So know that the the price that I am asking for this video course is is much more about you investing in, in yourself so that you are more likely to put this stuff to use uh, instead of just being like, oh, that's kind of interesting and then just kind of carrying on. You know, if you spend a certain amount of money on something, you're going to want to try to get the most out of it. And that's part of, of, you know, that's part of the cost. But I also don't want to exclude people who can't afford it. So like I said, if you want to, if you think you would like to take the course, but you need to kind of work with it, on, uh, you know, I can work with people um, give based on circumstances. And with everything going on right now, I know money's tight for a lot of people in general, uh, with a lot of people being out of work temporarily. And this is the perfect time, you know, having everything, you know, with this quarantine that's going on, this is the perfect time to dig into a course like this so that you can start to, I mean, that's really you getting in the flow of what's going on right now, being placed in a position where you have a lot of alone time, or maybe just a lot of downtime, or maybe you're dealing with people that you have, that the only way to really, you know, exist peacefully is for you to manage your own internal world. Well, that's exactly what this video course is for. So this is a perfect time to dig into this kind of stuff. So send me an email if you're interested. Be sure to uh, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot when you do that. And check out my other videos if you have not already. Um, I also offer astrology readings, natal chart readings, tarot card readings, and I do um, monthly tarot readings on Patreon as well. So I've got a whole bunch of stuff here to, to, to offer to help people kind of um, get, in, get in the flow of things and start using you know, the, the, the mechanisms of reality to your advantage and start under getting, gaining a, a, a framework, a conceptual framework with how to work with, with these energies and how to work with vibration. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. 